Okay, so to make this cupcake hat, you are going to need some yarn. I am using Lion Brand's Hometown USA Hot Pink. It's super bulky, size 6. And then I'm using US size 11 circular needles. And then um, when you start decreasing, you're going to need to put them on double pointed needles or get a larger cable to do um, the magic loop method. You're going to need your stitch markers. I'm out of town, so I just made my own <laughs> with some key rings and twisty ties. And then a needle to weave in your ends. Okay, so I'm going to do size small, and so you get your yarn, and we're going to make a long tail cast on. So what you do is, we're going to make a slip knot. So you put your pointer finger and thumb in the middle, and then you twist the yarn, then you grab the one that's on the bottom, and you pull. And that's how you make your slip knot. And then we get our needle, and we just tighten it. We need to cast on 49 stitches. So this is how I hold my yarn to cast on. I do the same thing with these two fingers. I put them in between the yarns and then I grab the rest of the yarn with the rest of my fingers like this. Okay. And then I get, I get my needle and then I go under and I grab it and I bring it over to this finger. I go in between like that and then I pull it off. Okay, that's two. One, two. Okay, do it again. Go over, go through, pull. Three. Okay, let's do it again. Four. both of those and tighten it. Okay. Okay, do this 49 times. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. Now what we do is we join in the round. So we first get our stitch marker and place it on our right needle and we put our needle through our first stitch and then we go from the front to the back like that and then our yarn is in the back and this is how I hold it so I wrap it around my pinky and then I put it above my pointer finger and then I put my yarn around counterclockwise my right needle then I slide it off Okay, let's do it again, front to back, bring your yarn around, and then slide it off. Okay, so we knit our first round. All the way to the end. Okay, so I just finished my first round of knitting. Now we're going to place our marker, bring it over to our right needle, like that. Okay, now we're going to do the spiral pattern. So we do knit four, purl two, all the way to the end of the round, and there will be one stitch left. And I will show you what to do with that. So we knit four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now to purl, we bring our yarn, our yarn's in the back right now when we knit, but to purl, we put it in the front. And then our right needle goes from the back to the front. And then we bring our yarn around our right needle counterclockwise and slide it off. Okay, so our yarn's still in the front, right? Bring our needle from the back to the front, just like that. Bring it around our needle. Pull it off. OK. 
Okay, now we need to knit four again. So bring our yarn in the back when we knit. And let's knit four. One, two, three, four. Then purl two, bring our yarn in the front. Go from the back to the front, bring it around. And let's do the next one. Okay. So you keep doing this knit four, purl two, all the way around. Okay, so this is what mine looks like so far. And I just finished my last purl two. And we have one extra stitch before we start a new round. So what we do is, this is where we start our next spiral pattern for the next round we just start here because that makes it go off by one stitch and makes a little spiral okay so we do our knit four starting here one slip it over two three four Bring our yarn in the front and purl two. Okay. Bring our yarn in the back to start knitting. And we, our first knit lands on our second purl. See where that bump is? And then purl two. One, two. Okay. Okay, so keep repeating this. Look, you can already see the spiral. Until your piece measures six and three fourths inches. In case you guys are wondering if you're doing it right, I just finished and I have two stitches now before my stitch marker to start the next round. And so I'll be doing my knit four. One, two, three, four, and purl two. Okay? So let's just do that. One, two, three, four, purl two. Okay. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. I'm ready to decrease. So, make sure that your last um, regular round you end with a purl two. Because I'm going to do the decrease rounds in a different way. Just because, I don't know, too many stitch markers. And I also want to keep our spiral pattern all the way to the very end. And they just do knits the whole way. So it kind of looks done that way. So if you want to do it my way, then follow along with me. If not, then just look at the written pattern. Your first decrease round is going to be knit two, knit two together, purl two, knit four, and purl two. So let's start. Do our knit two, and then knit two together. And then we do our purl two, that way we keep our spiral looking nice. We don't want to mess with the purls. Okay, and then 
because you see how we have the line, the strip, and then just the plane. So we're just going to reverse those. So we're going to decrease in this one, keep it the same. Decrease in the next one, keep it the same, okay? So we knit four. And then we purl two. Okay. So we're going to repeat that. Knit two. And knit two together. That's what it looks like. And then purl two. And then do knit four, purl two, and then just keep repeating this to the end of the round. Okay, so you should have 45 stitches on your needle, including your plus one. Okay, so I did my knit four, purl two, and I have your plus one. So we're going to start our second decreased round with this one. Okay, and it's going to be the opposite, so we're going to knit three, purl two, and then we're going to do our knit two, knit two together, purl two. So let's start. Knit one, two, three, Purl two. Okay. And see now here we need to do our decrease round. So we knit two. Knit two together. And then purl two. Okay. Okay. So this is what mine looks like. I just finished up doing the knit two, knit two together, purl two, and I have two stitches left over. So now I have 41 stitches on all together, all my stitches, right? Okay, so, and then for round three, we're just going to continue in the spiral pattern. We're not going to decrease on round three at all, okay? So it'll be knit three, since we decreased, right? And then we do our purl two. Knit three. And then purl two. Okay. All the way to the end of the round. Okay, so I have three left over. So now for round four, we are going to knit one. Oh, and see, I had to start with a new skein, so I just did a square knot and left some in so I can weave them in later. If you know a better way to do that with yarn that's not wool, please let me know. Okay, so anyways, I did the knit one, and then now I'm going to do knit two together. Place my marker. And then bring my yarn in the front and do purl. 
April too. Okay, and then now I do my knit three. Okay, so I have three stitches left over and 37 stitches left on my needles. I will have my pattern written for the decrease rounds listed on my blog under this video in the description bar. There will be a link to it, okay? And then you can see the rest of how to do um, the other rounds because it's really redundant and repetitive for me to just show you kind of the same thing. It's just going to make this video longer than it needs to be. So that's why I do it. Okay, this is what mine looks like so far and I'm going to start round seven. Okay, so for round seven, we're just going to knit two together all the way around. We are not going to be able to see this because your pom-pom will cover it. So we don't have to worry about the pearls anymore. All right, so just knit two together all the way around and you will have 12 stitches left and then for round eight you're going to knit two together again and you will have six stitches left now we cut the yarn and we pull it through our remaining stitches so you can wrap your needle and pull it through. So I just pull them off the needle. And then I go just do it like this. Okay. And you tighten it. And then I put a knot. And then I put it through the center. Okay. Okay, now we weave our ends. So we just go through the back part. And then we'll kind of go back. So that it doesn't come out. Okay, and then weave in the rest of your ends. And then let's make the pom pom. We need a piece of cardboard, four inches. And then I did like four and a half inches the lengthwise, just so that all of my strands of yarn stay on there. Okay, so we are going to. Grab your yarn and we're going to start on one edge and we're just going to wrap it around our cardboard. Okay, so just keep doing this 80 times. Okay, so I wrapped it as evenly as possible, and so it's going to be nice and fluffy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to cut another piece of yarn to wrap around in the middle to secure my pom-pom. Put the yarn underneath it just so that it's ready. Okay, we're going to slide the yarn off of the cardboard. And then 
We are going to tie it. I don't know if you can see. In the middle. So now what we do is We grab our scissors and then we trim it to make it look nice and even. Okay, so just go around and start trimming it. You need to keep one that's long, so don't cut one of them off. The two strands that you started with should be pretty long. And then um, this is what you're going to do to sew it on the top of your hat. Okay, so keep trimming, make it look nice. I'm sewing my pom-pom on, right? Now, I'm going to go back through, I don't know if you can see, all the way in the middle and come out through the top. And that will help keep it on. Okay? You go back down into the hat. Okay, and that's how you attach the pom-pom.